In today's video, we're going to take a little tour of the Three Flags Thousand Trails Park here in Wildwood, Florida. Come along! So on check-in, I spoke with Mary. She was extremely helpful. I was able to uh, get another night here so we don't have to just jet off in the morning. And we're in Site 50. Uh, Site 50 is a 30 amp uh, hookup, and that's okay. We're not gonna be running the air conditioners. <laughs> Come on, let's explore the park. So here we have the office where you check in. So my experience here is that they have assigned me a spot, not to, uh, you know, you don't have to go around and try to find your own. And that's okay with me. I mean, they're probably better judges at where in the park I can fit than having to actually go out and play seek and destroy. So when Angie and I stayed here on our way down to the Tampa show, we were right there in site six. And uh, that was certainly convenient for us. And this park seems to, you know, the RVs seem to be in two different patches, so to speak. Got this patch up here in the front, and uh, you're gonna see us right here. Similar to the park that we stayed at in South Carolina years ago, I'll pull through spots. Well, there are on grass. That doesn't bother me either. They certainly could be troublesome if uh, you got heavy rain and they got all wet. Hello. Yes, her name is Jasmine. She likes it. <laughs> Hoping to actually fly the drone, kind of get an overview perspective. We'll see. I just went the wrong way down a one way road, but I am on my bike. So, again, you've got this front patch up here in the front of the park, and then you go down this short little road the clubhouse of course is right in front of us and the laundry and some of the uh, amenities so the laundry building is right there and it has not only the laundry but uh, a little restroom area and then the clubhouse so here we are down at the clubhouse area and it looks like they've got bingo on Tuesdays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Right here adjacent to the clubhouse, they've got a pickleball court. Which when I checked in they said that they do not provide the pickleball equipment. A little putt-putt golf there. And then right across the, the way from that is the laundry. So it looks like we have seven dryers. A couple of tables in here to fold on. A scale. Why do you need a scale in the laundry room? Seven washers. And somebody's doing their uh, their laundry already. So you can either pay with quarters over here at the dryers, or you can uh, you can do a pay by phone app. I failed to mention that they've got little horseshoe pits here. It doesn't look like they get a whole lot of use, does it? Get yourself another couple of players and do your best at shuffleboard. Just outside the clubhouse, there's a nice little propane grill to cook up a burger and a dog. So here we are inside the clubhouse. Area over here where they can make and serve some snacks. An area here to do puzzles. Certainly a nice big area to set up a community gathering. If somebody wants to play the organ, can do some entertaining that way. And a couple of pool tables in here. 
course, no pets inside the clubhouse, and apparently no one under 18 is allowed in the pool table room, even if accompanied by an adult. Makes you wonder what uh, caused that rule. And over here, just adjacent to the pickleball court, is a nice big area to have a campfire. And then you have this area here in the back. I almost would suspect that this is where they try to put more of their seasonal or annual spots, but certainly I haven't stayed here enough to know for sure. Uh, some of these sites, nice big back end sites. You're gonna see down here, there's uh, some narrower sites with some trees around it, which would be nice for the shade in the heat of the summer, but I wouldn't wanna be down here in the heat of the summer. That's why our RV has wheels on it, so we can go north when it's 100% humidity and 100 degrees down here. Right here off to our left as we make this corner is the little pathway for better use of a term back to the dog playground area and the driving range. And here we have the little fenced in dog area. Please be a responsible owner and pick up after your pet. Look, they've even provided a couple of waffle balls. Didn't have to bring Jasmine's tennis ball down here of course who knows what other dog has chewed on those balls right we've got a little drinking area right there in the corner Eat the ball. good girl good girl so not only is it the dog playing area you can test your golf swing out a little driving range right here nice then you can see this is a it's a fairly big park over 200 sites at least That's, these are the, the areas where the, the trees are you know, grown over the sites, provide a little shade back in this area. little cul-de-sac area back in here but when I was walking jazz last night I don't know this area right off of the side of this Volano that to me is just cool a little swampy feel of course I'm sure it's mosquito heaven in there Always fun to see an open range. A fellow open ranger. We've basically you know, circled the outside perimeter of this lower area. The <clears throat> The lower campground area. This T intersection in front of me, if you uh, turn left, you go right out the way we just came in. So there's a heated pool right here adjacent to the check-in. 
We were told that there isn't a hot tub here. Let's go check out the pool though. Wow, this is a nice little little pool. I mean, it, it's not the biggest I've seen. It's certainly not the smallest. When we checked in, Mary told me that it was heated. Let's give it a little feel. Feel test. And don't drop the phone in the in the water, Sean. Oh, ooh, oh, it may be heated, but that's a little chilly for me, for my taste. <laughs> Well, we're leaving the Three Flags Resort. We're headed back to Paul's. Yeah. In the rain. In the rain. Of course, yesterday morning, you know, we got up and it was 30 degrees and there was frost all over everything. So here we are in Florida, Central Florida. Our neighbor's truck is all iced over. We came in here on our way down to Tampa and they stuck us in Site 6, which was extremely convenient. And easy to get out of, just in and out. But it was noisy, because you're right up there along Highway 44. And we're in Site 50, we're a little deeper in the park and quite a bit quieter. Met some great people. I don't know how you're going to get out of here. I know, it's going to be fun. It's, it's, I've got to basically make a U-turn right here. and It's going to be fun, I can do it. Let's get going. If we see anything of interest, we'll clue you in. Come along. <laughs> 